Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to the third and final week of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. A couple of really quick announcements before we get into this video. So historically, Following the third week of 21 Days of Beauty, we get an additional week called either the Spring or the Fall Haul, in which it's a whole bunch of drugstore brands at a set percentage off. I want to tell you to count on it, but at the same time, we didn't get any hot buys for this 21 Days of Beauty, so I don't really know if we're going to have that sale. Also, the third week is really heavy on skincare, so if you are a skincare enthusiast, this one is probably your week and has some of my top picks for skincare in the entire sale. So um, I guess I'll save my Ulta haul for another video. Maybe we'll do that this upcoming week or maybe the next week. I'm almost done with the dry shampoo comparison. Fifth and final week going on under this hat. So that's coming soon as well. But let's go ahead and jump into the daily beauty steals. So Sunday, September 13th, we have always 50% off, so I'm not going to say it every time, Too Faced Hangover Primer and Setting Spray. I've tried both of these products and I think they're both fine. They're not my favorites. I didn't go and repurchase either one of these. The Hangover Primer does smell really nice. It's got a, a very enjoyable light coconut scent to it. Same for the setting spray. I've just ended up moving away from them personally, but they're, they're fine products. Uh, look at that. Already a top recommendation for skincare. See, told you. Skincare heavy week. So we have the Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels from Skin Iceland. One of my longest running favorites. I want to make sure I tell you guys uh, what these do and what they don't do, who they're for and who they're not for. Because saying you have a skincare favorite still doesn't mean that it's going to be as much of a holy grail for every one of you watching as it is for me. So first off, know that these are sticky under eye gels that you can place under your eye area, leave on, do your chores, do your eye shadow. I do my eye shadow often when I have these on. Why not catch fallout and smooth lines at the same time? And that is indeed exactly what these do. I find these to be very smoothing. I found that almost all of the, the sticky type of products, the CO uh, gels very much included, what they do is they temporarily smooth any fine lines that you may have under your eyes. So they may not be the best choice for people who have very dry under, under eyes. I don't feel that they're super hydrating. And I'm on the fence as to whether they'd be helpful for puffy under eyes. It's not really an issue that I deal with, but I'm going to guess probably not. Again, I think that they're for smoothing purposes. And, you know, in that, in that sense, I've seen a lot of people compare products like this to a, a temporary Botox. And I got to agree, but we got to make sure we keep that in check. You know, Botox in itself is a temporary treatment. It lasts for about six months. These, the effects of using one of these, it lasts for about the day, about 12 hours, I would say, of looking more smooth. And as far as who they're for and who they're not for, they're, they're probably not for people that have allergies to any glue type of products because of their sticky factor. So you guys have probably heard the story by now. For as much as I absolutely love these, I made my partner try these and it did not go well. She had a raised hives type of effect under her eyes. I felt so guilty. I had hyped these up so much, I was like, you have to try these. And she's like, fine, I'll try them. And then uh, a disaster. And in terms of who these are for, these are for people who want that temporary effect. You know, if you're the type of person who has big events where you want to look your absolute best, I think you're going to absolutely love these. And, and I happen to be one such person. See, the thing about these... I laugh a lot, so I do have some fine lines around my eyes. They don't really bother me all that much unless I'm doing a very full coverage makeup look, which, you know, it really emphasizes that. So these are really nice before those type of days. It's so funny to me that there's, you know, a lot of people in the skincare world who keep making this argument of holding your face still. N get out of here. That's just never going to happen. I love to laugh. I absolutely love comedy. Do you guys want a comedy recommendation? Hannah Gadsby. I love Hannah Gadsby so much, although I, I should say she, a lot of the reviews for her, her Netflix special, people were like, this is like a TED Talk combined with the comedy, and I'm over here like, yeah, that's, that's why I like it so much. 
Hopefully that explains that well enough. We also have the Clinique ID system. You know, I've never tried these. Actually, I used to swear by Clinique's dramatically different, but I've still, I've just never tried the whole new cartridge system. There's a lot of categories for this though. Imperfections, uneven skin tone, fatigue, irritation, fine lines and wrinkles, pores and uneven texture. Let me know if any of you guys have tried that. Let me know how that is. Then we have the Dr. Brandt Needles No More Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. This retails for $89 at retail price. And you know, I, I had a really funny thought related to this that I, I wanna really quickly share with you guys. So I was looking at the description of this and this says, Dr. Brandt's Needles No More Wrinkle Smoothing Cream is the first of its kind formula. And I just got so stuck on that sentence because you know, that may be true. That may be completely true, but at the same time, so many brands have come out recently that are offering incredible skincare products at less than the discounted price of this particular product. And you know, the ingredients list looks okay to me. It looks like it's probably going to be a smoothing product, but it does have some irritants in it, you know, probably not for uh, the latest trends in skincare. But it's so funny to me because I was thinking about how Nobody really talks about how much duping goes on in the skincare world. So as an example here, do you guys remember when Makeup Revolution came out with their version of the Shade and Light Kat Von D palette and it looked so similar that people got really upset about it. People were like, they copied her art of that palette design. And more recently, uh, this happened with Makeup Revolution again and Manium UA, it's always Makeup Revolution. I feel like the community gets really upset when we see companies steal art forms, you know? But nobody ever stops to notice that in the skincare world, these scientists come out with these breakthrough formulas and then other brands come along and just kind of copy it. All that research and development costs a lot of money. And kind of unsurprisingly, an example of this is none other than Revolution Skincare. You know, other scientists did all the research and they come out with these products that are $11. Not shading anyone who buys that, just so you understand. I just think it's really funny because it's a whole conversation that nobody really stops to talk about. Anyway, let's move on. So we have Monday, September 14th, which looks like a really great day. First off, we have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I thought so much that I had a sample of this, but I, I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, I do think a lot of people are gonna buy this on this day. I know this is holy grail status for a lot of people, but if you are a subscriber of this channel, you know exactly where I am about to go with this. Yes, the Maybelline Hyper Easy eyeliner, Maybelline Drugstore. I swear it's the best eyeliner that I've ever used in my life. It, it's Drugstore. It's still the best I've ever used. We got a brush tip, a very dark formula, easy to grip. Uh, I do think it's more of a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner than Stila's, which is a felt tip. So today I used a different eyeliner. For reasons that I am very uncertain of, I also bought the Maybelline Master Precise All Day, which is a, a felt tip. I, I, I don't know why. I guess I was like, well, if Maybelline did this one so well, why don't we try this one? And it's nothing like it. I feel like my eyeliner looks kind of sloppy. Oh, I really love brush tips now. It's funny though, because I didn't like tattoo liner. I didn't feel like it was dark enough. I felt like it was kind of gray. Anyway, this is all to say, Awesome if you love the Stila liner, this is a great day to get it. If you're on the fence about trying it, I highly recommend this over the Stila. With maybe one exception, and that would be the Stila micro tip liner, but that's never in the sales. That one is excellent if you're a beginner because it's such a tiny precision tip on that one. Otherwise, this one. I think I'm not gonna be able to resist making a handful of drugstore recommendations in this video because sometimes the drugstore does things equally as good, if not better. Uh, so we have the Lancome Sills Booster Vitamin Infused Mascara Primer. I have a video directly comparing this to the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. The comments on that video are interesting because some people were saying, no, I, I don't see the equivalence that you're seeing between these two products. For me, the Lancome is way better. And I get that and I respect that and I think everybody's you know, experience is different. But for me personally, I could not tell a difference. So for me, I'd rather just buy 
the L'Oreal one. But again, you know, some people really did say that they saw a big difference between the two, so this is gonna be a great day to buy that product. Oh, we got some lip products on this day. I know not everybody is wearing lip products, but I still have some that I love dearly. So we have products from Ofra, Lipstick Queen, Buxom, and Sarah Hap. I'm gonna tell you about the differences between these. So we'll start with the one that I'm wearing, which is the Buxom Plump Line Liners. This is a new color for me. This is Covert Affair. Really, really pretty. I now have three of these, but I really like them because you can use these as you know lip liner if you want to, but you can also take it inwards on the lip. You've got the little brush on the other side, so you can kind of brush it inward and get a, a bit of a blown out lip effect. They're really, really great quality. I actually feel like this is the best representation of a liner and a lipstick all in one. I feel like a lot of brands have products that are similar to this, but they're more of a lipstick or more of a liner, and this is actually both. Lipstick Queen, the brand that is known for their pH changing lipsticks. Funny enough, that is not what I think is the, the characteristic of this brand that stands out the most. I think that this is a very, very hydrating lip brand. So much so that, you know, if you really struggle with lip lines, I think you're gonna love Lipstick Queen. There are so many lipsticks on the market that if you do have some lip lines, and I do because I am a, a smidge on the older side and I don't have any filler in my lips, I don't need to tell you all that, you can certainly tell, but anyway. <laughs> some lipsticks certainly make my lips look rather rough and Lipstick Queen just never does that. Now, one thing to know is that especially the pH changing lipsticks are not going to give you intensity of color. This is a trade-off that I've really noticed in a lot of lipsticks. If you have a very, very pigmented lipstick, that's where you start to see the lip lines the most and vice versa. But that said, Lipstick Queen does have the center line, which is a very pigmented line and yet somehow smoothing on the lips. So, you know, if that's something you're looking for, I absolutely recommend Lipstick Queen and I think they're extremely underrated. And then we have Ofra and from Ofra we have the lip glosses, which I do have one. Actually, Ofra's lip glosses were never on my radar, but I had placed an order in an incredible deal. Pro tip on that in a moment. And they sent a free lip gloss along with it. This is actually a really nice lip gloss if you do not like the stickiness of other lip glosses. I don't know how they did it. This is incredibly non-sticky. And we also have a couple of the liquid lipsticks in the Nudes Lip Kit and then also some from a collab that they had. Uh, so I'll tell you that they're nice. They're a very nice formula, but if you're looking for the transfer proof matte liquid lipsticks, that's not what Ofra's liquid lipstick is. And then finally, the Flexi Stick. This is something that I haven't tried and I'm kind of curious about, so let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have tried that product. But I said I was gonna give you guys a pro tip, and I am. 50% off is a great deal, but you can do way better than 50% off if you follow the Ofra website. They have some incredible deals on the website. I've posted them on my Instagram in the past. I've bought from quite a few of them. 50% off is just nothing. We're talking 70% off, 75% off. Follow me on Instagram if you don't, shameless plug. But yeah, that's where to buy Ofra, is the Ofra website. And we only have the, uh, the lip gloss from Sarah Hap, which I haven't tried, so let me know if you guys have tried that. Some serums from, oh God, no. Sorry, I had a bad experience with one of these. The Strivectin and Exuviant Serum. So we'll start with the Strivectin since I've tried this one. So the Peptite Tightening and Brightening Face Serum. Uh, so I no longer have this product, but I do have an Instagram post on it. Buzz Agent had sent me this product and they wanted me to do a two week trial with it, which was fine, I do that, no problem there. And to post it to Instagram with some hashtags like sponsored. So I did, I did this, even though I got it for free, I didn't get any kind of money from it. I have regretted doing this ever since because until the day that I remove that post, Instagram will not stop bugging me to disclose my sponsorship. Instagram, I got nothing from this post but a serum that I gave away and acne. I didn't like it. I made that rather clear in my post because it gave me some issues. I read through the reviews and it does seem like I'm kind of 
the odd one out here. It seems like this worked fine for a lot of people. It does contain a niacinamide-like ingredient that could give good results, especially in terms of evening the skin, uh, minimizing the appearance of pores. But Strivectin always has a handful of irritants in their products, one of which is cinnamic acid, probably the problem that I ran into. So, you know, if you're more sensitive, I'd personally steer clear. But I was really interested in one person's review. One person talked about how this product reduced their milia. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. And now I kind of wish I'd kept it. Never mind, that's useless because I don't deal with milia. But that was interesting to me. Anyway, it's not a high recommendation for me because of those irritants, but I'm, I'm really curious about that reviewer. I hope they're not lying. You gotta, you gotta always wonder that with reviews, you know? Okay, the Exuvians one definitely looks a lot better here. The Age Reverse Total Correct and Sculpt Anti-Aging Serum. I like Exuvians. I do like Exuvians as a brand. Uh, and this looks fairly simple in ingredients with the emphasis on, what are they calling it, neoglucosamine arginine in here as well and ascorbyl glucoside. Yeah, actually it looks pretty nice. Could do without the dyes in it. Brands just leave dyes out. There's no reason for them. Uh, do we have fragrance in this? I actually don't see fragrance. Yeah, this one doesn't look too bad. Tuesday, September 15th. Oh, you skincare enthusiast, this one is for you. Let's get these guys out of the way first. So we have the Benefit Boying, Boying Cakeless Concealer. I'm so unnecessarily tempted by this. I want it just for the packaging. It's amazing that I'm cognizant of that being the reason that I want to buy this, and yet I still want it anyway. It looks like a little pencil with an eraser, and it's a concealer. Uh... I know a lot of people who got this in PR hyped it up for a while, but I, I haven't seen it since. So uh, any of you guys have experience with it to share a little bit more on that? You know what a lot of it is? At $22, no problem resisting it. $11, $11, that's just close enough to $10 that it gets into this territory of it's practically nothing. When it, It's not practically nothing. You could buy 10 $11 items and you have now spent well over $100. The Crepe Erase Advanced Body Repair Treatment. Okay, we had this in the last sale. I'm trying to remember the comments that you guys left. I think a few of you said that this was a really good product if you do deal with crepey skin. 50% off the Cover FX Setting Powders. I, oh, I've tried a lot of powders lately. I still have to say this is one of my absolute favorites. This is the one I'm wearing today. And I think that this is more of a dry skin friendly powder at the end of the day. Because for me over here, I've never loved the Laura Mercier powder. It was kind of drying on my skin. Whereas I don't get that with the Cover FX. Oh, I should be clear, because there's actually three included on this day. So the one that I have is the Perfect Setting Powder, which I think is perfect. <laughs> okay, Dad. Matte Setting Powder, and then the Illuminating Setting Powder. So yeah, I've only tried the Perfect version. Skincare deals on this day. We have the Original Proactive 3-Step System, the Sunday Riley Flash Fix Kit. Well, this one's going to be so tempting. So you get 0.27 ounces of good jeans, and you know, you know, I had to go and do the math as far as how much that quantity compares to the full size of good jeans, because you also get a, a one ounce size of the ceramic slip cleanser. And in my personal opinion, ceramic slip is just a, it's an okay cleanser. I can see how some people might like it, but for my dry skin, it was, it was just okay. But good jeans is on a whole nother level. I hate that fact. I absolutely hate the fact that Good Jeans is the best lactic acid treatment that I've ever tried in my life. But anyway, here's how the math breaks down. One ounce of Good Jeans is $85, which means a half ounce would be equivalent to about $42.50. If you buy two of these kits, you pay at $25 and you have slightly over a half ounce of Good Jeans. It's a deal on that product alone. And what Good Jeans does, in case you've never tried it, it's an incredible resurfacing and hydrating product. And you know, you don't get that from glycolic products. You get resurfacing, but not hydration. But that's the, the magic of lactic acid. It actually is hydrating. The Origins Cleansing and Radiance Boosting Trio. I'm slightly disappointed in this one, only because the Origins kits in the past used to have a full size of the eye cream, and I really do like, what is it called? The Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. Yeah, that's actually a really nice, really pretty eye cream. 
And now we're dropping down to the sample size in the kit, which that's a bummer. It's probably a little bit more affordable. Was it 13? I don't think it was 13 for the last kits. But anyway, personally, I'm going to pass because the ginseng moisturizer is way too scented for my skin over here and checks and balances. While it is a beautiful cleanser, don't get me wrong, it is gorgeous. It's a little bit on the stripping side. It really is. Wednesday, September 16th, we have two primers from Smashbox. We have the Oil and Shine Control Primer, which I don't really know why I tried, but I did. It's not like I can really give an accurate description of that product because I do have dry skin. Although I do remember not hating it. So keep that in mind. It may not be the best for oil control if a person with dry skin said, yeah, that's all right. That's an all right primer. The Vitamin Glow Primer. I've actually heard a lot of good things about this one, and it does have a really nice ingredients list. It's certainly more skincare-like. The only thing about it is it also does have a couple of potentially irritating products, ingredients, including orange oil. I will never understand why brands absolutely cannot make a vitamin C containing product without making it smell like oranges. Just for once, you don't have to do that. You can make them smell like hot dog water. We're all fine with it. Are we fine with it? Are we? Actually, I think some people aren't. So I guess that's why they do that. Just know that it does contain those ingredients. We have the Exuviance Performance Peel AP25. I tried this one and I actually did really like it. I think that this is a great option if you typically can't do a lot of the peels on the market. You know, if glycolic is too much for you, this one is a much gentler peel. I should be clear that this product is not completely devoid of glycolic acid, but instead uh, mandelic acid appears in the ingredients list second after water. And then we also have gluconolactone. So again, these are your gentler PHA ingredients in here. Uh, and it's a completely fragrance-free product. It does contain methyl paraben, if that's something that concerns you, but it also means the product will last a very long time. One thing about parabens, they're very effective preservatives. Then we got some Discover K-Beauty. Oh, I know you guys are gonna flip for these. So we have two items from Peach and Lily. We have the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream and the Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I've actually not tried either one of these. I just fell so madly in love with their serum that I do have to admit, I'm a little sad it's not included in this sale. I'm not out of hyaluronic acid and niacinamide products, so I can't justify buying it at full price. But if it was in the sale, I would not be able to resist. We also have the Mamond Lip Sleeping Mask, which I've heard good things, but I can tell you guys raised the price because I remember when that was $14. Then we have the COSRX Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. That'll be $12. Nice price on that. I'm not going to purchase this because the Advanced 96 Essence is all I need. I bought two in the last sale, and I am, oh my gosh, it's actually out here. That's right, I talked about this in a recent video. That's how much I've gone through of two bottles. So a nice thing about the Essence in particular, whew, it lasts forever. So I do tend to think if you're still stocked up on the Essence, you probably don't need to buy the cream as well. You know, again, when it comes to ingredients, if you've already saturated your skin with that ingredient, there's not really a reason to add that same ingredient again. And then we have a couple of products from Herborian. This BB cream, this BB cream lightweight foundation. I almost bought this in the last sale, but I couldn't bring myself to do it because this is a truly atrocious shade range. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it is so bad. And I, I just, I don't want to be the person who sits here and says, guys, we need to have better shade ranges, but then buys a product with a bad shade range because it still works for me. I just, I don't want to be that person. I don't think you guys have to feel this way if you don't have, you know, a platform, but it's just, it's important for me personally. So yeah, I'm going to pass on those. Thursday, September 17th, we have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I'm wearing this today. I have a completely new respect for this mascara. It was one of the mascaras that I did in my mascara challenge earlier this year. So... I've come to realize that there's a lot of good mascaras on the market, a lot of which are drugstore. But I'm going to be honest with you about this. Almost every very popular, well-loved mascara contains beeswax, which makes it not vegan. And then of the vegan mascaras, ooh, there's a lot of misses. There are a lot of misses because how do you really replicate what beeswax is without beeswax? Now it is none of my beeswax as to how Tarte did this so well. Oh God. 
I am really sorry for that one. That was bad. That was cringe. Tarte did this extremely, extremely well. This is a very good mascara. Now it is high end, so if you want to pay, you know, drugstore prices, then you got to catch it in these 50% off sales. But thankfully, it's in the sales quite often. Dermalogica Calm Water Gel. I'm going to have to look at the ingredients here. Okay, so... Yeah, I definitely see some potential irritants in this. I do want to give you guys a comment on Dermalogica. So I tried Dermalogica a long time ago and I actually had good results with the brand, but I kind of don't talk about them that much because again, you know, we've got the potential for irritation as long as you've got ingredients like lavender, you've got essential oil ingredients in here. Probably next week I'll have a review up of a new Dermalogica product and it looks like they're changing their direction. It looks like they're really looking at what's going on in the skincare community. It's a very different product, very different direction from Dermalogica. So anyway, this is probably, it's probably nice, but you know, not going to be for sensitive skin types. MAC Lip Glass. We have both the regular lip glass and the clear lip glass. I actually, I bought this kind of recently. This is Oyster Girl. I tried this out this past week and I think I've moved past MAC Lip Glass in my personal life. It is very sticky and on my lips, it doesn't look all that good if I just wear it by myself. This is kind of like the conversation we were having with Lipstick Queen. This is one of those that I don't think looks as good on more mature lips or lip lines as it does on somebody who is younger or has, you know, lip filler. So yeah, it didn't, it didn't look great on me. But if you're the person who does, you know, the lipstick and then you take a tiny amount of lip gloss and you put it in the middle of your lip, these are really good for that. The First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I did like this when I tried it. It's a pH balanced formula. It does contain antioxidants, uh, but ooh, uh, it might be worth the 50% off price, but all that said, you know, I, I, I just talked about some pH balanced, rather nice cleansers, very gentle cleansers in my e.l.f. skincare video. I guess I wouldn't feel like you absolutely have to run out and try it if you haven't already, but you know, cleanser is a very, I think it's a very personal thing, and I do think if you have a favorite cleanser, stick with it. Stick with what works for you, you know? Friday, September 18th. Oh, I have some thoughts on this day. So we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Starter Kit, which is four minis that retails for $38. A lot of people are rather understandably peeved about this particular day, as we usually saw Brow Wiz in this sale, and we don't have it this time. But I'm peeved because I remember last holidays when Anastasia had a kit that included three full-size products for $30, and now they're coming out with this kit that is four minis for $38. And it does not go unnoticed. We notice the stuff companies, we notice when you are getting stingier and stingier. We notice it. In complete fairness to this kit, these are not the gift with purchase sizes, which quite frankly are tremendously offensive. The little brow with samples, you gotta you know, really try to use this thing that's made for ants. But it's still not really that exciting. And the thing is, you know, what's the purpose of having the two different types of pencils in a kit? I feel like you either like the small one or you like the angled tip, right? So it just kind of seems odd to me to have this set. Now, I actually sat down and tried to replicate this set, but I, I messed it up completely because I didn't double check and I used Dip Brow in place of Brow Wiz. So if you use it, it won't be quite as overdone. But I will tell you, I do like the clear brow gel. I think it really helps to lift the brows. And Dip Brow is probably for people who have sparse and fine brows, I think it'd be probably overkill if you have pretty bold and thick brows already. That's really the thing with brow products though. It's, it's almost silly to have a kit like this because again, you know what your preferences are, right? So I don't know. I mean, I'd buy this kit if it was $6 in the sale, but $19 in the sale is just it's really not exciting to me. 50% off the Clinique Limited Edition Moisture Surge. A lot of people really like Moisture Surge. It is definitely a lighter texture, but you know, one thing about Clinique is they've always been fragrance free. They were way ahead of the curve, and I, I gotta respect them for that. You know, I really do. It's a good product. 
50% off the Benefit boxes of powders. I'm always excited for this sale because I actually love these. Uh, so today I'm wearing Cookie, I'm wearing Gold Rush, Hula under my hat. Cookie is absolutely stunning. It is so pretty. It's kind of a, a very creamy highlighter, so you really get a lot of payoff with it. Hold on, let me, let me grab my cheek palette. This is Cheek Leaders, so you know, one thing to know about Benefit is that when they have these type of sets, which come out, I believe, every holiday season, it's the same quality in these, the exact same quality as the full sizes. So yeah, I have Cookie, Gold Rush. The only thing about Gold Rush that I wanted to show you is it has this gold overlay, but it disappears with time. However, really pretty natural looking blush. You guys see this, Coralista used to be one of my absolute favorites, but I also owned this at a time where I didn't yet have, you know, 50 blushes in my collection. And there is nothing quite like California. This is one of the prettiest pink e-girl e types of blushes. I can't believe I actually admitted that. It is though, it gives you such a pretty flushed look. I'm just mad because I did that look first and then people stole it and used it to sell bath water or something. I don't know, I'm way out of my element here. And some people hate the packaging because it's really bulky. I do not. I love the brush that's included. I love the packaging. I don't know, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, the last category for this day, we have Paracone MD's High Potency Classics Collection. I actually found a sample of the Face Firming Serum. I had started using this a while ago, but I guess I forgot and it got pushed back to the back of my little sample box. You guys have a sample box? I really do find the Paracone brand to be very effective, if for no other reason than because he does use DMEA. In fact, it's the second ingredient in the serum here. So, you know, he's got some high impact skincare. Just get them at 50% off. And do know that he does have some fragrance and some essential oil ingredients if that is something that you are looking to avoid. Last day, the very last day of the sale, Saturday, September 19th. Oh my gosh, we have the Bye Bye Foundation. So, true story with this, I absolutely love how this looks on the skin. It is so beautiful, gives you a kind of glowy finish, never looks cakey, just so beautiful on the skin. Not never looks cakey. You can overdo this, but if you apply it in a medium coverage way, so gorgeous. But I had to give mine away. I had to give it away or I was going to keep wearing it and keep breaking out from it. And I'm not even kidding you. I absolutely would sit there and convince myself that having acne a couple days later was worth it to look so glorious. It's an incredibly beautiful foundation, but like everything from It Cosmetics, the ingredients list on these products is so unnecessarily long and does contain some potential allergens. So if you have an allergy to an ingredient, like for me, bergamot oil, you're not going to be able to use this without breaking out. In fact, I was looking at the reviews for Bye Bye Foundation and the, uh, you know, the most helpful negative review is somebody who had the exact same experience as I did. Somebody who had bad breakouts every time they use this. So, you know, that'll happen if you have too many ingredients in a product. The more ingredients you have in a product, the more risk you have of customers having an allergic reaction. I kind of feel like I think I love and hate It Cosmetics at the exact same time. I love them because they really do have nice products, but I hate them because of those long ingredients lists that include my allergens. I'll admit to you guys that I actually went looking for this in my collection today until I remembered I gave it away. Yeah, that's how beautiful it is. I, I would have worn it. I would have worn it once again. It's so pretty. Uh, we have the It Brushes for Ulta Brush Bath. Can any of you kind souls who have tried this let me know if it compares to the Cinema Secrets? Mm, this is such a good brush cleaner. Ooh, this is a whole IT Cosmetics party on Saturday. So IT Brushes for Ulta Airbrush Full Coverage Complexion Brush number 77. It does have nice brushes. That was a strange sentence. It does have nice brushes. I haven't tried this one, so let me know, but $14, that is not a bad price. It's not a bad price. And that's it, guys. That's the end of the Fall 21 Days of Beauty. Let me know in the comments section below any of your thoughts, especially on products that I haven't tried. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.